Welcome back folks to another episode of Firewood Doctor. To those of you new to my channel, thank you for stopping in. Yeah, I'd be running the saws today by it on this Saturday of Labor Day weekend, but I'm taking it as a rest day. Mainly because my head just isn't in the game today. It, it just, I just don't feel it here to get the work done. And where that's a problem is when it comes to safety running the equipment. If, if your head's not in it, don't run it. That's when accidents happen. That's when you don't give a flying bleep, you know, about uh, how you're making a cut and stuff. And that's when blank happens and you get hurt, you know. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to be running the saws on the, on the Sunday of Labor Day weekend here. But today, yeah, and then another thing uh, I just want to talk about is being kind to people by visiting friends, even if it's just for uh, a couple hours, you know, go visit old friends if you can uh, with me and what I'm doing. It's kind of hard for me to get away. I'm so busy trying to build this so I can have time later, so I'm sacrificing uh, time to go out and meet people and eventually I will have the time to go do things with old friends it's easier if they can come come by me I'll provide the drinks and all that you know I have the the couch or a spare room from the crash on if they drink a lot too much or something you know I always have that option for them but a friend of mine that met him on YouTube he uh people just hate on him online social media you know YouTube and stuff saying he doesn't know this or that I'm like, those people are clueless. That, when you get to know him, talk to him, he's actually a really decent guy to talk to. You know, he, he could talk about so many things. And what, what what we have in common are chainsaws. And he just, he came up, we had a, you know, had a couple of drinks and uh, had a nice chat and stuff. And it was just plain fun talking to, you know, talk seeing an old friend and talking to him and stuff and then talk to other people around that were hanging out around the bar and stuff yeah go and visit people before it's too late you know it, when you can event uh, like i said i'm working on getting things together so i can be way ahead in inventory so if a friend says hey i need you you know i got you know all my ducks in a row and everything taken care of and it's going to take a while for me to get there where I could just, you know, take a week off or something. And that's what I'm trying to build up to, you know, to go help them out or, you know, be with them if they're sick or something. That, right now it's just tough. So, yeah, uh, sales have been basically crap this week. I sold uh, three of the four foot racks earlier this week and then uh, sold the total of five of the four foot racks this week and you know it's just disappointing nothing's really sold and I sold a $20 rack so that's what I'm gonna do next is restock that with this oak I just split that's basically ready to burn so I gotta get the wood piled up into the truck which sucks because I gotta chuck it now if I take this stuff, I could stack it in there and be nice about it. And then I can pull the pallet out of the way, then I can back up to the other stuff because I just hate uh, chucking wood because it beats up the truck bit even though I got a heavy duty uh, cargo mat. Still it could beat up the wheel wells and stuff and then, and then it's much more work uh, going to pull the wood out to restock from that jump it up pile it it hardly takes any time at all if you have it stacked up already to just put it nicely into the truck and then it's nice when you go to unload I could grab it from the emergency reserves but then I got to restock those I already got to restock two of the emergency reserves so that I'm gonna do that after I stock this and then tomorrow I'm either gonna run the saws or I'm gonna 
split cherry or I'm gonna stack this stuff. I'll have to I'll have to see what you know what I really feel up to, but I know that a lot of that cherry is ready to burn, so I saw in that moisture test video, so I might do that. So let's get uh put on some music and uh, get the get the racks restocked and uh, have another little discussion at the end of the video. As you could see I sold a couple of the uh, uh, sold an extra five foot rack well five foot rack yeah four foot rack so that helped boost my spirits and then as I got working I started feeling good but I could also tell I've been uh, working the body hard the last couple of days so I'm going to take the rest of the day off I took the morning off sat at the tiki bar for a little bit I let, I let the drinks get out of me before I went down the road, so I it spent a couple hours you know, just sitting there doing nothing and before I drank, what was it, three hours after I drank <laughs> the last drink I, I finally took off down the road. So yeah, it, it's, it, was, it was safe for me to drive, but yeah, it's uh, boosting my spirits. I'm not going to push it today. Uh, I'm gonna do the twenty dollar racks tomorrow. Uh, one, I'm gonna sell some more of the older wood out of there before I put in the good cherry. So I'm gonna start selling a cherry in these racks, and just to see if I hear anything about it. I, I spread the word that I have cherry ready to go at the, to some of the people in the campground. So that's it, folks. Till next time, take care. Get out there, do something. Have fun doing it. Remember, if you think, I can't even talk straight. If you drink, don't drive through the watermelon crawl.